Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the video um, where I talk about things I did and didn't use in my hospital bag. So I gave birth nine weeks ago now and it's taken me this long to get around to filming the video because life with a newborn is busy. Um, if you want to watch the video where I showed you stuff that I packed in my hospital bag, I will leave that video in the description below. Um, and firstly, I will start off by talking about the things that I did use, things that were like a must for me, things that I couldn't live without, things that I will potentially take next time with me um, if and when we decide to have another baby and then at the end I will talk about things that I didn't use. Okay, so number one I have my water bottle. This was literally like £1 from Primark. So many people said um, about getting a water bottle, specifically one with like a spout so that you don't have to kind of like focus too much on drinking on um, drinking from an open cup um, and you can just have this to hand. I had mine filled up with water probably about five or six times during labour. I was so, so thirsty um, and towards the end of my labour when I was in the birthing pool I was really hot so to have cold water with a straw that like my boyfriend or my mum could just hold for me was like amazing. I will definitely take a water bottle with a straw again and I recommend that you do too. The next thing that I ended up using, speaking of being hot, was my um, portable USB fan. I don't actually have it to hand because I did borrow the fan from my auntie. Um, but if you watch the hospital bag video you'll see that it was like this pink fold out like desktop fan. Um, that was amazing. I remember like towards the end of my labour when I was in the pool I had my mum with my water bottle and then Connor with my with the fan and I would like alternate between the two so I'd like have a sip of drink and then I'd put my face towards the fan because it's quite hot in like the birth centre and in the in the labour ward anyway um, and I was in the water and I just was very hot so the fan helped so much. Disposable nappies or underwear whatever you want to call them these are actually like incontinence pads I got these from Home Bargains, um, they were a pack of 10 and there's one, two, there's four left, but bear in mind I did go through a whole other pack, so I used 16 of these in total, I think I bled for about four weeks it was after birth, um, but for the first like week I wore these, this was, this was like the best thing to put on after giving birth, they're literally like a giant nappy. They are medium, they fit me really well after birth, they're so stretchy um, and they're almost like high waisted as well so it kind of just like keeps you in all snug. So I would wear one of these and then wear a pad inside it as well and then if it leaked through to these obviously I would change the whole thing but I was um, changing the pad and it was just nice to have something like soft up against your skin and obviously they're disposable so you don't have to worry about washing and it's just I literally was ha I would have like nappy bags in the toilet or in the bathroom and then I would secure them in a nappy bag and then just chuck them away so I used these um, in my hospital bag. I also used the milestone cards they're actually downstairs but they're the milestone cards that say like I took my first steps I smiled for the first time do you know those kind of things so we ended up just taking a one quick picture if I can find it quickly and it was not long after Tommy had been born and we were both we were all back in the room and we used the card that says I think it said hello world so this was at one o'clock and he was born at 5 a.m. we used the little hello world card although these aren't necessary it's quite nice to like look back on that photo I ended up using my Hairbrush, I used my hairbrush after I'd given birth um, because I couldn't care less what I looked like whilst I was giving birth but I used this after and after I had a shower. I also loved using the Call It spray but weirdly this is like a full bottle, I don't know if you can hear that but halfway through using it the spout broke so you push down and it just stopped spraying. I almost cried when this stopped working I just kept saying to my mum fix it fix it and she basically was just saying that it's broken and you know it can't be used anymore but um, definitely bring one of these even if you're like due to give birth in the winter you, you just feel hot um, this is amazing and I was having this like sprayed on my back on my body but it stopped working so that was a bit um, annoying at the time 
We also ended up using the size zero nappies. We didn't end up using the size ones. Um, and he was born at seven pounds eight. Um, and he fit into the size zeros for about a week and a half. I also used my nursing pillow that we bought. I used this for like a bit of a um, like a back rest when I was in labour, and then obviously once I'd given birth, I used it as a nursing pillow. And I use this still to the day till this to this day. I use this every night um, when I'm feeding Tommy in the middle of the night. This is just like the best best thing. We also ended up using the little grey cardigan that we packed Tommy. I think the size was up to one month and it was from Sainsbury's. Although we used it to bring him home from the hospital and I've not seen it since. I don't know where it's gone. Um, I think the washing machine swallowed it. But I would say it was so difficult to try and put the cardigan on him. He was so like flimsy and it just like wasn't... it. It fit him, but it, it almost felt like it was too small, like it was impossible to get his arms through it. We had to get the midwife to help us put it on him. Um, we just didn't want him to like get cold. But next time, I probably won't take a cardigan. I will just bring like blankets, because he did also have a blanket on him as well. But obviously, we were only walking from the hospital to the car, and then when you're in the car, you can have like the heating on. So I probably won't bother with a cardigan next time, because it was just too much faff. He did also use one pair of scratch mitts, but that was while he was um, feeding. So like before, we put a nappy on him after he was weighed, and then we had some skin to skin, and I fed him for the first time, and we put scratch mitts on him. But in hindsight, I probably again wouldn't bother bringing them next time. He wore scratch mitts, like the built-in ones, on his sleep suits for probably about the first two three weeks and then I managed to cut his nails when he was asleep and now he has his hands out all the time it's supposed to be like really good for their development he puts his hands in his mouth all the time um, and like almost sucks his thumb so I like to have his hands out rather than like covering them obviously unless he's cold out of the three or four hats that we bought we only ended up wearing one and that was straight in the hospital once he was born and then obviously on the way home I did use my cowpole that I bought, I think I probably had about three doses of cowpole while I was in labour and then I got to the hospital at, I think we got there at about 9am, um, I did do a full birth story video as well if you want to watch that in more detail I'll leave that linked below but we got to hospital about 9 o'clock in the morning and then I had my first um, you know, like proper pain relief at midnight I think it was, I had pethidine at about 12 12:30 p.m. Um, but other than that, I'd just had a tens machine and cowpole. Sorry, I was mid sneeze. As I was saying, um, yeah, up until the pethidine, I had used the tens machine and cowpole. I also used my shampoo and conditioner. The first shower after you give birth is just like the best shower you will ever have in your whole entire life. Um, I had a shower. Tommy was born at quarter part at 5:16 a.m. and I had a shower about 9 10 a.m i think so i washed my hair um i used my um foaming shower gel that i bought i remember like saving this for my labor bag because it just looks really like luxurious and it smelled lovely it's flamingo flower and pink grapefruit it's actually nearly empty now because i've been using this in the shower i also used my slippers i think i only used them um we were technically there for two days because we got there on the 15th in the morning and he was born on the 16th in the morning so I did wear my slippers after I got out of the shower on the 16th but other than that I was just wearing my sliders that I came into the hospital wearing. I wore my bikini top when I was in the pool on the 15th, he was born on the 16th but when I actually gave birth in the water I was wearing a crop top because I had gotten out of the pool, took my bikini top off and then got back in the pool. Um, so I wore my bikini top and I didn't end up wearing my bikini bottoms but I'll come on to that in a second. Another thing I thought was really really useful was to take a empty carrier bag for dirty laundry. Um, that just meant the second we got home I was able to just empty the bag in the washing machine. It had um, you know, like clothes that I'd worn, it had like the crop top that I'd given birth in. Oh, it also had my bath towel in it as well, um, or my shower towel that I used, so everything just went straight in the washing machine, and it saved me rooting through the suitcases. And then out of all of the 90s and everything I bought, I think I bought three. So this one, as you can see, still got the tag on it. I didn't end up wearing this. 
This one I wore in the evening on the 15th, so like while I was in labour, while I had my TENS machine on. Um, I just wore it open, it goes all the way down like um, with buttons, so I just wore this open and had a crop top on underneath. I got quite cold before I had my pethidin, before I got in the pool the second time. Um, I got quite cold in the evening, so I put this on to warm me up. Um, the other nighty that was from Primark from like the maternity range with the buttons down at the front, I did wear that one, but that was after I'd given birth and after my shower. So I would recommend not to bring too many um, because I definitely did overpack, but I would rather... I'm glad that I bought everything because if I wanted to use it and it wasn't there, then that would have annoyed me more than overpacking. And out of all of the food that I bought, I ended up having, I think, one or two Lucozades. I had some Haribo and I had a Squares bar. Everything else, um, so like the biscuits, the Belvita bars, the Jaffa cakes, I didn't eat any of them. And now on to things that I didn't use. So I didn't end up using my colostrum syringes that I bought. I think I bought about four or five um, in a cool bag with um, ice packs and then when we got to the hospital they put them in the freezer for me. I didn't end up using any of them because my because um, Tommy latched like completely fine and we didn't end up needing them. I didn't use my flip flops because we had a private room, we were in a birth centre as opposed to the labour ward so we didn't have to use like communal showers, we had our own bathroom um, so we didn't have to wear the flip flops. The um, Bottoms Up Soothing Bottom Spray developed by Midwives. Didn't end up using this while I was in hospital either because I had a second degree tear. So I had to have stitches and it was advised just to use water on the area. Um, although I did use this when I got home when I was about two weeks post birth, but I didn't use this in the hospital. I also didn't use my headphones at the time. I just didn't feel like I wanted to use them. I didn't use the size one nappies. Obviously, as I said, he was too um, small for them. I didn't use all of the crop tops I brought. I think I ended up bringing maybe about four or five. I only ended up wearing one crop top whilst I gave birth in the water and then I wore a nursing bra on the way home. The blue comb that I packed in my bag um, that I was supposed to use like during contractions, you're supposed to squeeze it in your hand, it's supposed to like draw the pain to another area of your body. Um, I didn't use that, I, I kind of forgot about it and just didn't feel like reaching for it. I didn't end up using the cotton wool for nappy changes, just in the moment um, it just seemed so much easier to use the wipes. The tiny little pot of moisturiser that I bought for Tommy we didn't end up using, um, I didn't feel like he needed it. Um, he was born in the water and his skin, like when he was first born, wasn't particularly dry so we didn't use it. Nappy cream, we bought this with us, didn't end up using it. I use this now, the Bepanthum, I use this every nappy change as a barrier cream and then if, um, if and when he has a rash like he did when he was about two weeks old, we use the one in the yellow tube, it's called Metanium, I think that's how you pronounce it, because this is a barrier cream. Um, but metanium is like a treatment ointment, so it actually treats the rash rather than, um, you know, just preventing it from getting any worse. I didn't end up using my toilet wipes um, because I had stitches. I just had a wee in the shower after I had given birth um, and then just used the shower hose to like hose myself off. I didn't end up using my pillow spray or my roller ball again. I just like didn't really think about it in the moment. It might have helped, but I didn't reach for it. So because I weed in the shower, that meant I didn't use my peri bottle. I did use this once I got home, but not when I was in the hospital. I didn't end up wearing one pair of the underwear. These are the short ones and these are the full briefs. But because I wore the disposable nappies straight after birth, um, I didn't even reach for these. I didn't wear my fluffy socks. I didn't wear my bikini bottoms and all the other snacks, as I said, like the Jaffa cakes. Um, I think I had some Haribo Tamvastics. I didn't eat those. Um, I had some Velveeta bars. I had some biscuits. Didn't eat those either. I just didn't really feel like it. Um, and I had been given like tea and toast while I was in labour, so I had eaten something. But in hindsight, I would have liked to have eaten more, so that once I'd given birth, because I was in labour for so long, I had a bit more energy, um, because I, I was actually only in active labour for about three and a half hours, but I would, had been having contractions 
for 25 hours so I should have ate more to keep my strength up but I know that for next time. With regards to clothing for Tommy, when he was born, as I said, he was born at £7.8, so we put him into, um, it was first size clothing from Next, and it was like a blue dinosaur zip-up sleep suit, and that was for babies up to seven. I think it was £7.8, and that fit him for about two weeks, so he's now just going into zero to three. Um because all of his newborn stuff doesn't fit him anymore. If you watch the hospital bag video, it will make a bit more sense because I bought different outfits in different sizes in like Ziploc bags. So I would, again, next time bring a variety because you never know what size the baby's gonna be. Um, but we only ended up using the one Ziploc bag rather than the zero to three and the up to one month. I did also use, I forgot to mention, the hairbrush and comb set. He had like a little bit of hair when he was born and when he was asleep in his um, little cot in the hospital, um, Connor just brushed his hair. Obviously that's not a necessity and that can wait until he's home, but if your baby has long hair, like longer hair when they're born, um, then it's quite nice to just like brush it and make it look a bit tidy. If you want to watch the hospital bag video, as I said, it's in the um, description, I will link it. And then if there's anything that I packed in that bag that I haven't mentioned in this video, then comment below and I will let you know if I did or didn't use it. Again, if you have any video suggestions, then please let me know in the comments and I will be sure to film those for you. And please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!